will come up with the right decision. But the one that you are working on is man-made. Uh, you're not asking spirit or your angel guides to help you, which is what you're being told to do as I have a butterfly. Drag Didn't want anything else happening. I don't see him anywhere. Hopefully he's taken off. All right, so let's continue this reading, shall we? Didn't want to get stung. I have a little bit of a fear now. And I have nothing out here sweet or anything of a scent in order for him to be so aggressive. Sorry. <laughs> Whew. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Um, keep him there, Ira. <clears throat> Hello, Ira. Hello, G. Lady Sage. Nice name. I like that. So I have it here for my comments. Whew. Sorry, y'all. I just had a little bit of a scare is all. Not that I'm afraid of them, but I am kind of a spook of them because of the fact that, like I said, I've been bit by a spider just recently. So really not up to having insects around me. All right, spirit. Thank you for saving me. All right, Virgo. Last card. Last card, Virgo. Whew. Last card, Virgo. Mm. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You're definitely, there's something uh, that you're, yeah, some, you're, mm, okay, how can I say that? Because that's more like you're charging backwards. You're going to try to save something that isn't worth saving. You are going to be, you're going against new feelings. Um, there's somebody, either you or somebody that's within your circle, really close, that has a really strong, dominant, uh, it might, it might be narcissism. Wow. Really? Somebody that is very, dominant trying to change your mind trying to bring you pull you back and that's what the knight of swords is showing so you need to keep fighting through whatever it is you will get through it the ten of pentacles you will get through this if somebody is trying to change your mind about something that you think that would better you in your future do not listen to them all right virgo that is your reading Uh, it was black. It, was, it looked like a yellow jacket. It was black and uh, yellow. Whew. All right. Yep, I'm shifting my energy right now. Oof. All right, Spirit. Keep up with me, please. They're saying they're right beside me. All right, next off is Sagittarius. The first card that came out was the moon. There's going to be drastic changes. Uh, you're going to be... You'll have help, but see, they'll come out of the blue. Um, 
some some kind of decision is going to be made out of the blue, like just spontaneous, because Sagittarius is known to be spontaneous. Lady Sage, I won't listen. I will stay with my plan. Oh, absolutely. You see? Yeah, so you must be Sagittarius too. Yay, Sage. That's right. Good. All right. All right, Spirit, clear the deck. Please give me Sagittarius. Number four, four is Spirit stable, uh, Stabilization. All right. Let's see what we got for Sag. Of course the chariot would come out. Jeez, right. So radical change, you're going to have some kind of movement. Uh, you're, it's something that you wouldn't expect. It's something that you usually don't think about, but spirit is telling you that there is going to be a change and it's going to be something that you're really not used to in your own routine. It's more of a different routine and that you will have the strength to adapt to it. And it will finally bring you some joy because you are going to be like, yay, I'm, I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating my change, my movement. Uh, my decisions, I'm happy with them. Uh, so just follow your heart, follow your gut, follow your intuition. And do not forget to see things outside of the box. And don't ignore any intuition feelings. Just basically file them correctly in the correct spot, correct timing. All right. Oof. Loving this. <laughs> I'm loving this. All right. What else do we have? Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, I haven't really touched on much. Um, I, I usually don't. Uh, Aquarius and Pisces. They usually don't come become too active on my channel. Uh, obviously, not enough of them have either found me or uh, believe in. But Pisces on other channels, which I have looked at, they're not in high numbers. So I don't really um, go into your sign. So Aquarius. Um, you've got five cups. Uh, you're grieving about something, something that you're having to try. You're trying to get over it. Just want to make sure nothing's in my cup. <laughs> Is there something that you went through? Uh, you still haven't gotten over it. There is definitely a bridge. Um, in the far distance, in the near future, that you will get over this. But you have to see what is behind you. You can't fly through life with blinders on. You have to see that there's other options. There's other things behind you. You have a support system. Don't put your back to them. Open your eyes and see that people around you do have good intentions to help you. stabilization. I just heard stabilization. And as I look down at the card, uh, there is a building in the background on the other side of the river of the stream. So once you bridge, once you, did somebody just pass? You don't want to accept somebody's passing. Comment below if that does resonate. And it does because here, this is exactly the message that was sent to me because they're over it. They're done with it. It's done. It's over with. You can't go any further with your emotions. You're going to have to work on them. This is very, very, even though it's not cups, it has to do with emotions. Uh, you're replanning, you're restructuring, you're trying to figure out how to get out of this mindset. 
Yeah. Yep. Um, you might feel like the victim. You might be the victim. But you've got to come up with an action plan in order to get out of this, this grieving, this depression, this anxiety. Um, so you might need to seek mental counseling on this. And there it is again. This is this is definitely happening. Yeah, this is this is definitely uh, you're completing, but you are figuring that this is really real now, and you're losing sleep over it. But you've got the world card out here, and on the four corners, you've got. The angels, the eagle, the bull, and the lion. So you've got strength. You got the strength card, the major arcana. So just remember those four, and if those four are in your circle, uh, you've got strong angel power within. The the bull. That's Taurus. You might have a Taurus in your in inside your circle. Uh, and the eagle, fly above it. You are going to get over this. And this bridge. See this bridge? Imagine the eagle flying over you, protecting you, guiding you. You have the guidance and you have the strength. So I am. I have emotions and feelings for you um, as far as what you're going through. But... Just know the, and, and believe that it will, it will, it, it's going to pass. You are going to come back out of it feeling so much better. Whatever this is. All right. Let's try that. All right. So that's your uh, reading for Aquarius. And your number is 11. All right, spirit. And that one is uh, to give a fresh new look. So remember that. Gemini. Gemini is another one that don't doesn't really respond too much within my channel. If you're Gemini, um, search for exchange. Hmm. Your number is three. Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. A lot of different actions, thoughts, different actions. You're thinking about leaving a situation uh, that no longer serves you. Uh, you're going to put your finances in and maybe you might be buying your own home, getting out of somebody else's home that you live living with them or uh, supporting them. Uh, but that King of Pentacles is basically telling you it is time to be on your own. They're very reliable, very strong source, by the way. And the High Priestess, following your intuition. And you're going to be following your intuition because you're going to have to leave that situation. All right, and the last card is justice. So, yes, you are leaving a, probably a divorce. Maybe there's a separation. Uh, like I said earlier, maybe you're coming out of somebody else's home and you're going to leave that situation because it no longer serves you or you're in a bad situation. But, Gemini, if you are, Spirit is telling you it is time. You have the strength. You have the resources. That King of Pentacles will be with you. You need to follow your intuition and if you have to, maybe it even involves children. So if that gives you goosebumps enough, let me know if that resonates. Comment below. And don't forget about my Patreon channel. Patreon.com. All 
Sorry, guys, I've gotten so involved with spirit. I haven't uh, really looked at the messages. I'm too. So please comment below and let me know how this resonates with you. Uh, Gemini, when you search for exchange because you are searching for a different place to be, um, I think it's also because that person, there's some kind of codependency around you. All right. Libra. Enjoy your time, and your number is seven. Libra. Enjoy your time, and you've got lavender on that card, too. I'm hearing the birds. All right, Libra. Let's see what spirit has for you. Now, you saw me shuffle. And now you've got the same thing. There's something that you have to leave behind, something you have to stop doing, something you have to drop and roll. And this might be mentally because this has to do with action and thoughts. Because um, you're tired. You're tired of pushing it. You're tired of trying to hold somebody else up. Trying to hold the baggage. So you need to do the high priestess thing and follow your intuition. Because you might feel defensive, uh, stuck, right? But you really need to give yourself that peace of mind. And, of course, the last one is King of Wands. Yeah, strength, respect. Yeah, so... Keep that strength up. Follow your intuition. You will have the answer that you need. You will feel better after that beginning of change starts. It starts with you. And if you have to leave or stop doing something that does not serve you, then do it. Push yourself away from what no longer serves you. And that is for your own mental capacity, your own feelings to make sure that it does never gets interrupted because somebody can pull that string and it could break and guess what now you can't even sing your own song you can't even strum your own strum right strumming that guitar now you can't play it you can't play the cards that you want dealt for you because somebody else just came back and broke you don't let them do it and trust your neighbors, watch your surroundings, follow your intuition. If you feel that something is not right, leave it. Drop and roll. All right, that's for you, Libra. Leo, release the power of your heart. And your number is five. I think I'm doing that. Good. Very good. All right. First card that came up for Leo. Uh, you're watching something grow. You're a little impatient right now. You're a little antsy. Uh, you want things to go a certain way or you think that things should go a certain way and they are only going by divine timing. So you have to remember, you can sit here and watch the seed grow. But you have to give it time. So give yourself time to grow. Don't try to force something on. Foundation. Routine. Loved ones. You're trying to help your community. You are, you are in, a, in a community foundation mood. Yep. Community foundation mood. So you want to grow. <clears throat> this is the nurturing queen. 
Nurturing meaning giving. So that person in your life is probably taught you how to give and help your community by building a foundation. This is protecting your assets. You might just feel like you are, uh, you, you might feel like you might be around some greedy people or you are angry at some greedy people. Don't pay them no mind. Yeah, don't pay them no mind. Um, you will have loved ones start to uh, come to you, ask about you, get curious. Uh, your heart, you wear your heart on your sleeve. But that Queen of Swords, um, you, you have a very perceptive mind. You're very passionate. Um, you are very much a motivator. So you're going to motivate yourself to help others, to try to get away from all of the, um, all of the uh, negativity that has been around you for a while. Ah, okay. Thank you. Hello, hello. You are new here. Let me look at this because I can see it better. Uh, take your question. Oh, okay, uh, Ryan or Rhea. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. R-I-Y-A. Um, what sign are you? And where are you located? All right, Leo, that was your reading. I'll wait for any responses from Rhea, R-I-Y-A. Like I said, I don't have my glasses on, so please excuse me. All right, spirit. I need a good reading for Aries. Wow, thank you very much already. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. All right. Employ pioneering spirit. Your number is one. One is the magician. You are Virgo by birth, but Libra by name. Ah, cusp. Leo uh, or Libra. Uh, cusp, just like Ira, and um, yeah, that's that's who's here today is Ira. Ira's cusp too. Okay, and I'm glad that resonates with you, G. All right, so yes, thank you, thank you. All right, so the cards that actually came out for Aries is the Three of Pentacles. Uh, you're working on something. A foundation. Um, judgment. I have learned a lot about judgment in the last couple days uh, from a very good friend of mine. And I'm going to actually pull this out here. Give me one second here. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find it. Now I need my glasses. I'm still here, Raya. Hold on. All right. Libra. Okay, judgment is Libra. Libra, air, swords. Okay. The judgment card indicates someone who has worked to intentionally cultivate a rewarding life full of joy. And that is absolutely true. It reveals awakening and a renewal. 
That's exactly right. A renewal, a new foundation. This card, the judgment card, shows the judgment card shows that we've experienced a change in personal perception and gained a new ability to blend with your world. Everything is beginning to come together, falling into place in a way that leads you to your true self. Judgment can also symbolize favorable legal outcomes. This is why I have my book because it always gives more. So that is definitely, uh, it definitely resonates. So I am really glad. And the Ace of Wands is New Beginnings, which is what that uh, reading just said. So you've got, this is all very, very positive. It's all in your court. Um, you've been tired. You've been working on this. And I feel that you know that this is really, whatever you're doing, you're on the right path. For sure. Okay. So don't, don't just keep on keeping on. All right, Aries, whatever you have planned, whatever you have going right now, you're not pushing it to a certain point where um, it's too much or it's uh, it doesn't resonate with the future. You are actually on the right path, so you are doing it correctly. So, yeah, just, just know that you are on the right path. And as a matter of fact, I was just called to do one All right, Aries. Thank you. Netcaster. You have, yep, just like I said, you have casted your net in order to catch and bring that into you. So you're bringing in the positive. You're bringing in what needs to be brought to you right now. You are not pushing and grabbing and asking for too much, and you're not being greedy. So you are preparing for that fruitation. So for, for that fruition. So that is definitely, you are going to be very fruitful. So keep on keeping on that spirit's message right there. Wow. That's beautiful. All right. All right. Let me get to my comments here. And Aries, that is your reading. And right, let me put my glasses on. Okay, that is fortune fortune telling, by the way. Um, I, I don't do that. I don't predict the future. I can't tell you if this person is going to call you or if you're going to be reunited with this person. I don't have an answer for that. No. That is predicting something that needs to be done with a fortune teller. So... Uh, If you can go back and look at this video when it's done and read um, Virgo, which was the third sign that came out, and Libra, and listen to those, and you might actually get some answers for your question. So, no, I can't tell you who Aaron is and what their feelings are for you. No. You have to listen to the Virgo and Libra readings that I just gave. Put those two together and you will have your answer. So if you haven't yet subscribed and you'll be able to actually get a personal reading on patreon.com. Patreon.com at Spirit Insight Tarot. But thank you for coming in and asking those questions. Uh, I am glad that I did. I was able to give you some kind of uh, messages through Virgo and Libra. So yeah, namaste. All right, we've got three more. All right, the next one is Capricorn. That number is 10. Perceiving success. Perceiving success. Success in what? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, you're so welcome. Where am I from? 
where are you from? I asked you that earlier. I didn't see um, where you were coming coming in from. Uh, I'm down here in Texas. I'm in actual Texas. I don't do personal readings at the moment. I only do them online. I don't do, you know, one-on-one uh, -on -one is what I'm saying. I do personal readings, but just not physically one-on-one -on -one in person. Not at this time. All right, so Capricorn, what is it that you've been going through? You're struggling with something. Is it mental? Is somebody stressing you out? Or are you holding too much of the burden? I just heard grandparent. I don't know if you are a grandparent and watching the kids a lot, uh, taking on a whole lot of responsibility that really truly isn't yours. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Page of Swords, same, same thing, same message. Uh, chariot. Yeah. You've got to move out of this space. Uh, you've got to stop moving around so much. You're starting to lose touch. You're, you're wanting something new to grow. Uh, the page of wands and you've got, so you've got a lot of messages. You've got a lot of downloads. People have been giving you hints, dropping hints back, back to back to back. And you're not picking them up because you've been working your ass off on trying to help others and you need to move out of it. Maybe you just help somebody move. But this the spirit is telling you that you need to, to move on. You have been working so hard for so many other people that whatever that is. See, there's the page of wands. This is growth, new growth. Um, you've got an opportunity to move on from whatever it is that you're holding. You don't deserve to be taking care of everybody else um, by yourself. You've been working way too hard and spirit sees that. So the angels and guides are with you, but spirit is telling you that you need to start thinking of yourself, start building a, a foundation for yourself, move on. You need to move out of that situation. It is not going to go anywhere and it is going to wear you down. Yep. And I just got goosebumps. So you need to move on in order to succeed. Uh, something about a poinsettia, maybe around Christmas, Christmas time, you might be able to uh, be on your, your path that spirit is trying to tell you to be in. All right, Scorpio. Love and Scorpio. Let's do some Scorpio energy. You need, uh, there's some wounds that you need to heal. Uh, your number is eight, which is strength. So you do have the strength inside of you in order to heal these wounds. Uh, maybe somebody uh, left you or um, didn't treat you right, but you've got the sun. You see that sun? That is like the Holy Grail in tarot. That is the happiest card. Sunflowers. Yellow. Now, you see that Scorpio is all yellow. Uh-huh. The first card that was dealt for you was the sun. And actually, um, if I remember right, that was the star. No, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I was going somewhere else with that. Anyways, all right. Spirit, what other messages? Thank you very much, Lady Sage. Oh, India. Welcome to the U.S. Actually here. All right. You're going to have a celebration. Uh, you are going to get over this because... I don't know if it has to do with maybe a family member that's pregnant. Uh, maybe you've got investments of some type. Is there a house that you have dogs, pets, children? You have a lot of good sources around you. Um, but you're arguing over something. You're, you're at, you're at, you're not at peace. 
with whatever this because that that right there you were good and happy somebody came in and said you know what let's let's talk i got something to say somebody came in and started to rattle your mentality but they don't like it because you're starting over very well very very well so you can tell them to kiss your you know what behind because <laughs> uh, you're not going to fall for it you are actually starting something new uh, there might be like i said somebody in the family that's pregnant uh, there might be some um how should i say that you're you're trying to heal the wounds to heal the wounds you're number eight you have the strength the strength that sun card and the ten of pentacles and the fool the fool is you're starting over that's good you are on the right path mama whatever you're doing you just keep doing it you keep being strong for whoever it is that needs your help all right last but not least cancer respect your feelings is somebody not respecting your feelings all right number is four for spirituality maybe somebody doesn't believe how spiritual you are and maybe they think uh differently but that star well one foot in one foot out but see you're pouring you're pouring your foundation you're solid you are pouring it back into so you're putting it back into your own you might be buying a new car so you're seeing it yeah and as a matter of fact i was just told to do that i will do that too let's see how this star affects that chariot i'm so glad they told me to take this book out wow this is really cool all right let's do that oh and i've got some rituals too that i'm going to be doing here in a couple days so hopefully you guys don't uh don't mind that Holy shit. <laughs> okay, so that is too cool. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so this is Aquarius. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius as well. Um, do you meditate by any chance? I just heard meditation. So just uh, Aquarius. I mean, I'm sorry. If you have Aquarius in your chart, um, Cancer. But Cancer, respect your feelings. Uh, you need to meditate on your feelings. Because you need to attain inspiration and insight about something. Obstacles. You're going to move them out of your way. You definitely have compassion for others. Uh, let me finish this. Thank you. So you've got this reverse, which means that you are not going to have uh, anything get in your way. Yeah, that's definitely reversed. So you're you're not having all that that drama. People today, my God! All right, King of Pentacles again. That's a good thing. Yeah, you've got some really strong roots. You might be some moving some uh, investments around too. Hmm. Might be moving some people in and out out of your circle. I think it's a different job. Oh, look at that. It has to do with pentacles, money. I just said about a job. Um, you might be called to help people. You're helping them. I understand that. Just like I said with the star card. So you got the six pentacles. So you're helping people. And this just might have to do with Helene. Yeah. So that king of pentacles. Telling you where to go with it. You might have, like I said, you might be moving some money around. And there it is. So yeah, that definitely makes sense. 
So yeah, Cancer, that is your reading for today. That was beautiful. And of course the sun is starting to come over here now. Beautiful. All right, that's the reading. All right, messages from life. Thank you, Spirit. Together in the light. Together in the light. You need to give thanks to all who enter your life. And understand that you all are exactly who and where you need to be. And everyone contributes to each other's, well, personal growth. Um, every reaction someone draws from you is a gift from your soul to theirs. It is meant to help them with their inner conflict. So today, by focusing on your development, mentally, spiritually, financially, rather than others, you need to develop on your own instead of others and others' faults. You become one with the divine. Ooh, see that sun? I told you the sun was coming in. Thank you, Spirit, for that. I appreciate it. On Gateway. Let's do some Gateway, please, Spirit. Gateway for the Collective. Gateway for the Collective. Gateway for the Collective. Thank you. All right. Mend Bridges. Do you remember that Cups... That was uh, five of cups where he was grieving and not looking. He was looking down at what he lost instead of what he still has behind him and the bridge in front of him. Yeah. I heal rifts. I am a mender. So you need to learn how to mend. There's somebody you need to mend with. Maybe there's a marriage. Maybe you need marriage counseling. Couples counseling. You need to mend those bridges in order to have a cups mindset with all those ace of swords and ace of cups. Oh my gosh. All right. Gateway. All right, so yeah, uh, that has, oh, wow. You have new vision. You are going to see it completely different, a completely new transformation. Spirit is sending you signs to mend those bridges because there's something, I'm going to pull another card. The tree of life, you are seeing different and you are seeing a, culmination of vision wow wow you got the strength to actually do this and if it is for yourself a leap of faith absolutely oh wow okay y'all this is for sure beautiful beautiful I am really glad I got to bring those out. All right. Anything else I need to give? I need to spirit to see if there's anything else they're called, calling me to bring you. No. That is all. That's all I'm feeling. So, before you pop off, please don't hop off yet. Just learn to mend those bridges. Learn a way to mend those bridges. And that doesn't mean you have to go back to loving them or feasing them. Uh, it just means that you are giving yourself peace of mind. Okay. Okay. 
I want to introduce you to a book that I'm going to read you a passage. No, it's not the Bible. It's the four agreements. The first agreement is be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using words to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. That is for everybody that has been affected by this hurricane that's coming uh, all the frustrations that you have um, with gas pumps and, and, and fighting over gas and things in the store, you need to come together and help each other. Don't take anything personally because this is just a phase. This is a event that's going on and it changes everybody. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Don't make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings and any other drama. With just this one agreement alone, you can completely transform your life. Always do your best. Always do your best right now in this kind of situation in life. Uh, do your best to make the situation better and try to adapt to change. A lot of the chariot came out today. Always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed when you're sick. Under any circumstances, simply do your best. You will avoid self-judgment and self-abuse and regret. And that is the end of today's reading and messages from spirit. So give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And he has blessed many people to be able to help the ones that need help. But please always, always, always take care of yourself and each other. All right. So until next time, until next reading. Yes. You're very welcome. You guys take care. And Rhea, hopefully you have subscribed. Yes, I'm glad it hit home. Amen. Amen. You're absolutely welcome. All right, you guys take care. Keep an eye on each other. Check in on everybody that you know that is going to be affected by these hurricanes and all these storms. All right, take care. Until next time, love and light. Peace out.